Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I realize this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to give you some instructions on how to go ahead and speed it up with the screenshots that you'll be seeing. So on the lower right hand side where you see the um, HD, that's where you would click to choose you know, the video to play on HD quality. That same uh, prompt will bring you to your speed options. Once you click on the speed, it'll be grayed out and um, the next pop-up screen will be your speed options. So you can basically have the video go slower or faster. Guys, welcome back. So what I have in front of you is pretty much one of my biggest holy grails. Um, I was dusty hunting years ago, I mean a long time ago, and I found three versions of the um, OPI My Private Jet ho Linear Holographic. And I say that because here are the three linear holographics. There's a fourth one that is a very rich beautiful scattered holographic that since I moved I haven't been able to find but that was super super easy to replace but the reason why I'm making this video is because today I went to Sally Beauty Supply and this is currently on the market and it is the newest my private jet and it is pretty darn nice looking right now. I have four um, swatch rings that I'm going to be testing all these four with or on I should say. If you're wondering what is on my nails it is um, Tonics Hot to Trot. So um, let's get started. Why do I know there is four versions? Well because I own them and because I found them. I went dusty hunting for them and I found them and lastly because there's different batches and different colors this is the original this is the charcoal one this is hopefully um, you can tell in the camera this is the brown one and this is another version now I know that because they all have a different batch number okay the original, the brown, and um, I'm not sure what to call this one. And you can tell because, hopefully you can tell. I'm going to see if the um, swatch sticks help. But this one is charcoal with a very gorgeous blue flame. I'm going to try to um, add pictures at the end. You can tell this is brown. So a charcoal brown. And this batch might be in between. I don't know. And here is the newest one. It seems to have a very, very gorgeous flame. Now, the lady told me that I had to buy this, you know, special shine top coat for this to cure but knowing the Sally Beauty person she doesn't know what she's talking about um so can you guys let me know down in the info section if that is true does this line really need its own special top coat I'm gonna turn off my light now and put them all together Oh, this one seems to have a pretty strong flame and there that is without blinding you know lighting now with my cell phone I'm gonna see if I can use the flashlight from my cell phone and see what that does come on cooperate cooperate with me I'm sorry guys so yeah this is with my cell phone So, I have never worn these because, like I said, they're my holy grail. But, let's see. 
how they compare right now. So stay tuned if you want to see the swatch rings. I'm going to start off with this batch number, the original. Then I'm going to go with the brown, the K92. Then I'm going to go with this batch number C88. And lastly, the newest batch number that you can currently get at Sally Beauty Supply, which is that right there. So, um, I don't pretend to know everything MPJ, but I do know that while I went dusty hunting, I found three different versions, three different colors, three different batch numbers. So, um, what is Dusty Hunting? Dusty Hunting is, I'm going to give you the quick and dirty version of it. You go to nail salons and you look for these polishes. Generally, they are super dusty, as you can tell from the rims, because no one wants to use them, no one wants to wear them, so they just lay in a nail salon collecting dust. Now, the reason why you wouldn't know to choose this at a nail salon is because well, now these are looking beautiful, but generally, these just look like a plain black. So, unless you're really, really new, uh, you probably wouldn't go into a nail salon and pick a charcoal color or a brown color when there's so many other prettier browns. So, let's get to swatching. I'm going to move these precious back there and uh, turn the light back on. Give this a nice shake and let's go with it. Now, this is going to be difficult to do from a point and shoot looking upside down, but I'm going to try my best. So, this brush is horrible, but that's okay. So, it's very sheer on the first coat. This is the charcoal one. And yes, I will be closing these after a swatch because I don't want to risk dropping it. Very sheer but very beautifully hollow nonetheless. So that is the first one. This is the brown one. Brown. Now for the most part, these, um, because I also went dusty hunting and found a lot of the OPI DSs, the linear holographic ones, these collections in the beginning or when you first use them, are very, for the most part, not all of them, are very sheer. This is the brown one. Like, um, if I remember correctly, Glamour the, is the blue one. That one is not so sheer. A little bit streaky, but again, that's because, you know, point and shoot camera. And here is the brown one. You can clearly tell that that's brown um, compared to the charcoal one, this one. It is a beautiful summer day, which is why I have my windows open. And you hear kids playing outside. They probably want to get the last of summer out. Um, this is version C88 that one there uh oh hard to open now, this is what I mean by collecting dust dusty hunting you will see it on the rim so um, what I did when I went dusty hunting um, always use my cell phone's flashlight now this one looks like it's a darker color 
maybe even used a couple of times. Now with Dusty Hunting, yeah, this has been used. And going to nail salons, you may or may not be getting a new bottle. The first two, as you saw, was new. This one is fairly new. It looks like it's been used a couple of times. It's still pretty sheer. And I'm not being heavy handed at all. There is no usage bubble on the bottle. So there's that one. And the newest one. Now I've never used these infinite shine bottles. So if I'm doing it wrong, let me know down in the comment section. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's just nail polish. Oh, it, it looks so pretty in the bottle. Oh, yes, baby. Look at the payoff on this. So hopefully it will dry to a nice linear hollow. You have to give the hollows, in my experience, some time to dry up and show the um, linear hollow. But there it is. Now, could this be our new, you know, linear holographic in my private jet? Alright, second coat. Original. Now, without having blinding light shine at it, you really wouldn't be able to tell them apart as much, which is why I labeled my original one with that label maker, which can easily be taken off. Oh my gosh, what a wonky brush. Oh, this is terrible. This brush is terrible. Oh my goodness. So it builds up beautifully on the second coat. The original. And please forgive if I cat if I have cat medicine on the undersides of my nails. I did just give my fur baby her medicine. I should wear gloves. But it just makes things more complicated. Giving cats medicine is never fun, and especially a stubborn, smart Siamese one. When she ends up, you know, catching on to all your tricks. Here's the brown one. Also builds up to a very beautiful polish color. Now let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to make a video about Dusty Hunting. Um, I definitely have some tips and tricks you could use. Here's the brown one. Let's wait for that to dry. Here's the other one. So I think I'm just going to do two coats. Apparently something happened to this one. The swatch stick. Or swatch wheel. Swatch ring. Ugh, get it right. The first time I got um, some hard to find OPIs like my private jet and Cinderella, I was over the moon 
I was like, oh my goodness. So excited. I found several Cinderella's. There's that one. So th they, they build up beautifully on the second coat. And, you know, that's really nice. But it does need a second coat in my, in my opinion. So this is the Infinite Shine. Yeah, much better coverage on the second. Now, do I see glitter in here? Sorry, I'm just going to close this. I don't want to spill it. Do I detect a little bit of glitter? I think this has glitter. Do you guys see it too? I can't tell on the... In the bottle I don't see glitter. Do you? I do see a little bit of glitter now. Like here. So they added glitter to this one? I mean, do you guys see it too? Am I wrong? Well, let's wait for that to dry. Um, I'm going to come back in five minutes just to give that, you know, a fair shot of drying and put on. So here we are. Um, this is the original charcoal. And I'm going to be topping it off with um, HQ Girl. That is just my go to um, Hello top coat. And what works very well with my chemistry. Hard to do this on camera as you can tell from a point and shoot. So let's let that dry. This is the brown one. I'm going to say this brown one is really pretty. Oh, I already messed it up. Oh, at least I didn't get it on the, on the, on the brush. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I never have any luck with these. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I'm going to let that dry. And paint over it. The thing about finding the um, MPJs at nail salons is I found a lot and people knew that they were a black nail polish so they were pretty easy to find. You just had to know what you were looking for. They're great for um, Swapping for other hard to finds. So 
So this is the newest one. This is the Infinite Shine. Which they've added glitter to. So I'm going to let these dry. And see how that one's doing. And just, I guess this one's going to have three coats. Well, at least down the middle. No, then that'll all look all messed up. So now I have to wait for this to dry, and I'll come yeah, back. I messed up. I, I forgot that I was supposed to use the, you know, the Infinite Shine top coat. But I'm wondering if I use the Infinite Shine top coat, if it will dull the hollow. So here we go back to the brown one that had the accident. Again, very hard to do on a point and shoot. I never have luck with these swatch rings. Gently place it in front of it. Ah, got it. So now I'm going to use the Infinite Shine top coat on the M my private jet. Here's the infinite shine top coat. Now here it is with the HK girl. So here it is with the HK girl and it did lose its linear hollow as you can tell. So I am gonna try the um, So you definitely can see the glitters there. I'm going to try to salvage it with the Infinite Shine. And if not, I'll just have to do another swatch stick. So I just answered my own question. I guess you do have to use the Infinite Shine top coat. We'll um, give it 10 minutes, let it dry. Just to make sure, usually the um, linear hollow pops out once it's completely dry. Yeah, see? Once completely dry, you can see it. This is the original. So I'll come back in 10 minutes and wait for those other two to finish. Okay, on. so I thought in all fairness, I would um, do a one, two, three, uh, fifth swatch stick to the, um, to this one. It looks super pretty on the bottle and here it is and I'm going to use it with the corresponding top coat which is the infinite shine because when I put HK girl on it the flame doesn't seem to be as strong as it is you know in the bottle so let me just open up the infinite shine here it is
Again, I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. I'm not able to see what I'm doing right now from the point and shoot. Hollow does seem to be popping out more. Yeah, I see more hollow particles popping out more with this top coat with the Infinite Shine than with the HK Girl. So I guess that answers that. Unless you guys know something that I don't know. Uh, give it some time to completely dry up. But I see more hollow on this already than on the one with the HK Girl. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it time to dry and see what happens. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. I really wanted to give these a... Um, chance to dry so here is charcoal and I did find a picture of me wearing the um, you know OPI charcoal original that is that one this is a very very pretty blue flame top with the HK girl this is the brown one. And that's going to be very rich because it's three coats since I dropped it. So putting the black, I mean the brown next to the charcoal. Hopefully you can tell this is the brown, this is the charcoal. I'm holding the charcoal with my tweezers. It shouldn't matter if they tip over right now because they're dry. And this is the other batch. This is batch C88. And let's see how I can do this. Here is C88 compared to the brown, compared to the charcoal. I don't want to focus. You don't want to focus. Here's the charcoal. So that's kind of like in between them. In between the brown. And this is the Furch. Furch. First one with the HK Girl and not the corresponding top coat. As you can see, it dulled it. It's not as hollow as it is on the bottle. But you can still see the same glitters that are in the polish. So this makes the glitters pop out more. And here it is with the corresponding top coat. Um, hmm. I don't see a flame like it is on the bottle. Now I wonder if it's a swatch stick and if it'll be different in a nail but here it is with the corresponding top coat and here it is with the HK Girl. Could also be that today is a humid day, but I'm, I'm shining the light as strong as I can. And I'm not sure if there is any special um, instructions to this top coat. I was told by the Sally girl just to treat it as a regular top coat, so. I don't know if I'm supposed to cure this, so let me know down in the comment section. Um, it looks pretty in the bottle. 
it looks pretty in the bottle. Uh, not quite sure what happened in the swatch sticks. I guess I'm going to have to come back and try it out on a natural nail. But yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I don't know. Guys, let me know down at the bottom if you have this and you were able to transfer the flame successfully onto your nail. Kind of bummed. You can hear it in my voice. So, my um, final verdict, my thoughts, my opinions... Take it for what it's worth. This seems to be to have been a dud. It looks stunning on the bottle. You can see the glitter now very well. But unfortunately, it didn't transfer onto the swatch stick as I thought it would. Here is the one with the HK Girl top coat. So I did a second swatch stick hoping that it was just me not using the appropriate top coat to go with it. And actually the top coat that comes with it does show more of a hollow. But it fogged it. Now again that could be because this is because of the material. But it, it's a no-go for me. Um, if you figure out a way to make this look true to the bottle. So this is, this is the one with the HK Girl. The one with the HK Girl. And the one with the infinite shine top coat. So maybe on the nail it'll be a different idea. I mean a different um, look than the swatch stick. But so far on the swatch stick is a no-go for me. So I'll have to try I'll have to come back to this and try it out on the natural nail. Thank you guys for watching and if you got it, let me know what your experience is. I'm curious. Uh, so thank you for watching. Sorry about the uh, weird instructions in the beginning of the video. Some of you have asked for it and uh, my um, editing software here is giving me a hard time so I tried to do the best that I could. Thank you for watching and I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to take care of yourself.